Gun Lance is similar to the Lance Weapon class, except this one, believe it or not, has a gun on it. You may think Lance and Gun Lance are too similar, but there are some differences that set them apart enough. Gun Lance thrives when you know your enemy and can be patient enough to exploit their openings. If you're too active with Gun Lance, you'll probably be smacked around. But if you take your time and hold up your guard, you can take and hold space and punish the enemy. Like Lance, Gun Lance is a very slow weapon while unsheathed. Unlike Lance, you do not have access to three consecutive back hops, though you can still make the back hop longer by holding backwards on the analog stick while doing it. Along with Lance, Gun Lance has the best guarding in the game, and as long as you have the stamina for it, you can be mostly safe as long as your shield is up. Pug. There are Gun Lances with all elemental and status ailments except for sleep. All Gun Lance attacks deal cutting damage, unlike Lance which will deal cutting or impact damage, whichever is more effective. And of course, Gun Lance also has a shelling component, which ignores hit zones and deals damage similar to how bombs work, though this will drain your sharpness rather quickly. It also deals fire elemental damage. Gun Lance is a very fun weapon, but may not be great to start with due to its complexity, but you shouldn't let that discourage you from trying it out. That being said, I encourage you to experiment. If Gun Lance isn't working for you, pick a different weapon. There are 12 weapon classes to choose from, 9 melee and 3 ranged. Try them all. I won't be going into many advanced mechanical calculations in this video. This will be more for beginner and maybe some intermediate knowledge. Gun Lance has a similar combo structure to Lance, though it has many branching paths and options it can do from any given moment. Blocking with the shield will not drain your weapon's sharpness, just like with the Lance, since you're not blocking with your weapon like you are with Greatsword. The weapon and armor I'll be using can all be bought from the equipment shop next to the smithy across from the item shop. Let's go over the attacks first and I'll talk more about them afterwards during a hunt with Great Jaggy. Motion values or MV will be displayed up here and are the damage of that attack. Higher MVs mean a harder hitting attack.
As always, take useful items from the blue box. Great Jackie should start in Area 5. We can get there through the shortcut and camp to Area 7. First off, try not to focus too much on shelling. Remember that you're not able to evade out of most forms of shelling. In my opinion, doing the rising slash into the upward thrust should be your bread and butter. Remember that the upward thrust resets into a guard. Stop attacking when you see an attack coming. And of course, punish Great Jaggy when he goes into a long animation, such as when calling for help. Using the lunging up thrust as a mobility tool is very useful. Don't forget you can do that. Sometimes it's smart to play slow and use your shield as cover, but if you need more mobility, don't forget to sheet so you can run around. You never want to be in yellow sharpness, but you really never want to be in orange or even red sharpness. I'm going to leave the area to sharpen, but before I do, I notice that I forgot to paintball Great Jaggy. Make sure you're doing this. Remember sometimes it's best to run away when you want to use items. Great Jaggy just looked away from me. Monsters usually don't turn their back to you, so it must mean that it's leaving the area. Being aware of these kinds of things is important in the long term. Pog. Great Jaggy's down. It's a great time to use a Wyvern Fire. If you miss a Wyvern Fire, it's not the end of the world. It's a nice chunk of damage, but you can make up for it pretty quickly. Don't sweat it. Well, look at that. Gunlance has a counterattack, too. Remember, Great Jaggy and the minions it calls are very fast compared to the Gunlance. If you're having trouble, it's because it's not easy. Different fights will favor different weapons. That's just the nature of this game. Don't beat yourself up over it. Try something new. I recommend you hunt Great Jaggy a few times and make his full armor set, and upgrade your gun lance to the Striker's gun lance. That will be arguably the best weapon and armor at this point in the game, and will set you up for success. Take your time. Be patient with yourself. If you like how gun lance plays or looks, but you're the one getting blown away, just stick with it. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Until next time.